Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I've had a few people ask me to do a current walkthrough of my system because uh, my last video with the Boss Audios threw everybody off as an old video, so here we go. I got the Premier 6x9s. Four of them in the back. Four 12 inch Premiers. A lot of people have said, oh, we haven't got to see the wall. Well, here's my wall, solid right to the ceiling. Tweeters mount inside here, they ain't hitting no fancy nothing or anything. So. And the reason why it looks like it might be two boxes stacked together, because I had a comment about that too, is because I put a thicker plate on here. And the reason why I did that is just so I'd have a little less airspace inside the car. Because for competitions legally around here, you have to have 30 inches from your windshield to your wall. Well, I have it at about 31 inches, so I'm within an inch. And it also has to be behind the pillars here. If you run a string down these pillars, nothing can cross the string. So I also made it so it would be within that. So I pretty much would have the least amount of airspace inside my car as possible. You guys didn't realize it's just a little Mazda 323 hatchback. It's a tiny car to begin with. And a lot of people ask about the tuning. Well, the tuning before I put the port designs in was right around 50 hertz. After the port designs and everything, I'm tuned about 43 hertz. So it's kind of a higher tune, but I was looking more for numbers and that's just how I designed it so um windshield still fucked to say the least yeah the thick ass liquid nails on there didn't do no good oh a lot of people wanted to know about my roof I can't hardly flex that thing <sighs> It's really, really solid. I mean, so that's why you don't see my roof all jumping around. Also, another reason being is the wall is like completely solid to the roof. So, I also got this support beam that was factory in here. But it's a pretty solid setup, so. I like how the doors are shaped, they have a lot less flex because of these ridges in them and stuff. Actually gives them strength. Um, wiring, just basic big three, whole crap load of four gauge, uh, what is it? Yeah, three, no four, four runs, <laughs> Jesus Christ, four runs of four gauge to the back of my car. And I got it all, it's all in there, so. <laughs> but, it does the trick for now. Um, I mean, the amp hardly pushes my subs. I can't get them warm no matter what I do. The amp don't get hot, so, I mean, I could pound it like this for years and it just keep beating, but I suppose I can do some videos for you guys with some sound, I guess.
I think I'll play something a little different for you guys. Uh, something you should all check out. They're an awesome band. I've seen them in concert a couple times. I had a bunch of video of it, but you're not supposed to upload it to YouTube, so I can't show you guys. <laughs> but nah, this is one hell of a show. They're they're awesome. This is uh, Bliss and Esso. Born in the 80s, but that summertime love then changed the whole game. Like, what have I done? At the gutter, I come to touch the bright sun. And from the highest heights, motherfucker, I jump. Free in the sky of belief, I can fly. No telling what they're selling in this sheep in disguise. Keep this in mind, I keep all my grind. I can do it anywhere I want to do it. the bass crank through nothing on it because I got I want you guys to actually be able to hear it on YouTube so <laughs> otherwise it'll just sound all distorted so
That's uh, that song's called the Moses Twist. It's pretty good. But yeah, bands Bliss and SO should check them guys out for sure. They're awesome. Oh, Ooh, I know. How about some Boondocks? Pumpkin Head by Boondocks. This is a uh, Cold Day in Hell by Boondocks. Boondocks, check them guys out too. 